Today on How in the Tech, we're back in the live production world to talk graphics. Hi, I'm the Video Geek with Espo Productions. Thanks to Kristen, my former instructor at USF, for this suggestion. She finds students often have trouble with bringing graphics in and out as the technical director, or TD for short. As an aside, the switcher is a piece of equipment, not a person or a position run by a person. The technical director is responsible for operating the switcher to create all the camera changes, graphic in and outs, and any chroma keying or other effects in a live environment. Sometimes the TD is also responsible for calling the shots as well. But that's enough about the TD. Let's get back to the topic at hand. How in the tech do you bring graphics in and out using a production switcher? Many switchers have buttons for graphics labeled as DSK. DSK is short for downstream key, not disk. You need to think of the switcher like a stream of information. The stream has a series of dams to control the flow. You as the TD control these dams, but you need to know how. As the signal flows, the information travels downstream through the switcher. Cameras, VTRs, satellite feeds, etc. are considered upstream sources. If you select one, generally speaking, the other is replaced. Graphics, split screens, chroma keys, etc. are considered downstream sources. This means you can have multiple sources visible at once. Think about when you see a graphic bar with a person's name on it. When it appears over the video, that's called a lower third. You press the DSK button to bring the lower third graphic in and out. This is because the downstream key sits on top of the upstream source. Think of graphics as though they are objects floating in a stream. You decide when those objects enter the stream and when they leave. Some switchers even have multiple DSK buttons to stack graphics on top of each other. It's also possible to tie these sources together. When tying the DSK button, if you press the cut or transition button, the source will change and bring the graphics along. The same goes if you use the fader bar when the tie is on. Tying graphics is a professional look and is more reliable than a double punch. A double punch is when the TD actually hits both the source and DSK buttons simultaneously on program. Just remember to untie the graphics when you're finished, or it can be a little embarrassing. Remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a comment or question below. We want to hear from you.